Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to yet another beer review with me, Peter, the master of hoppets. Do you notice something different? I hope you do, because I finally got a microphone. Yay! Something you guys have been requesting for I don't know how long. Uh, but the problem is that I have an old ass camera. It still records in 1080p, and I think the quality is still fairly decent. Um, but it doesn't have a mic input thing, like for sound, uh, because it's so old, and it's basically actually a, a high quality snapshot camera uh, that I bought when I started the channel, which was kind of expensive back then, but now you can get them like throw it in, like throw it in the back of your neck or something for nothing. That's a Danish saying I just tried to translate into. <laughs> It's English and it sounded very danglish and weird, but one thing I need to get used to is like talking not super loud as I always do because the mic picks very much up on that, but it's a very good mic. Let's see, Royal Smart Lab Plus just wanted to show you guys the mic and the, like, well, you can see that in the box. Uh, not super cheap, but fairly good price for a Royal product because Royal makes awesome mics, but uh, they are fairly expensive. This was 400, 442 kroners, so that's like what sixty dollars seventy dollars it's, it's very good priced uh oh, it's more it's pro probably more like eighty dollars but finally got one because i found out about this one because it records to your smartphone so i just have to sync up the audio which i do with a clapping noise so that's awesome so we got that in the works now so hopefully soon i mean it's just so expensive to get a new camera but eventually i'll get a proper camera for you guys to get some crystal clear awesome h2 with a lovely mic as well so because this one also works for regular cameras in your computer and whatnot not just for the phone so it kind of came in this little leather bag too so awesome stuff it's going to be great using this for when i'm out and about if i'm in bars if i'm at festivals because you can actually hear me speaking and not background noise and echo so awesome just thought i'd do it in a review talk about it instead of doing an actual unboxing because i mean it's a beer review channel why would you uh, talk about that stuff in an unboxing i don't know whatever <laughs> but today guys we're going to be looking at a beer from brewdog that was sent to me from beer jump uh, a great belgian web shop you guys should check them out as i say in the reviews <laughs> And they are really good. They just got a lot of new stuff on there. I'm actually getting a new box with some Wicked Weed, which should be awesome to try. Uh, so this guy's is Brewdog's Dogma. They're Wee Heavy or Scotch Ale. I haven't had this one before, but it sounds nice. I do like a good Scotch Ale. It's on 7.4% alcohol by volume. Uh, so fairly high. Uh, but yeah, it should be nice. So without further ado, let's get this bad boy cracked. So as I said, hopefully the sound is much better now. I uh, hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, there was one thing more I wanted to say, which I forgot <laughs> about mic, but whatever, or microphones. But it that's a dark scotch ale. Wow. <laughs> that's like a pitch. Oh, I'm gonna, it's blackish. It's like it's so dark ruby, ruby red, it almost looks black in the glass. A uh, nice two finger tan head, or beige ish. A darker beige. And also a cool thing, by the way. BrewDog is uh, opening a facility in the States, I think. They, they just put out like a little YouTube ad about it, which is cool. So let's check out the aroma on this bad boy. Oh, tons of esters, tons of like fruit, like dried fruit figs and like forest berries. Yeah, that's what some of the stuff you get the most. Also, there's a, like a marmalade twang to it, like a kind of forest jam, forest marmalade. Definitely caramel toffee tones. Like very malt forward. It smells like this would be great in a bourbon barrel. I actually also had their bourbon baby. I just didn't review it. Um, that was okay, but a 4% barrel aged beer isn't really, it, it doesn't work as well as with a bigger beer. But it smells awesome. Let's give it a taste. Cheers and thanks to Beardium for the beer. I wonder if you can actually hear me swallowing the beer on the mic. That should be fun to see when I edit this. That's really tasty. That's pretty much just dead on Scotch Ale. There's like no fault in that. It's, it's a little more roast heavy and like toasty than your average Scotch Ale, I think. Mm. Or wee heavy or whatever you want to call it. Also, now it came to mind what I wanted to say about the mic. Most videos from now on are going to be with the mic. There's a few I've shot that you're going to see, which were before I got the microphone. Uh, so bear with that. 
And then I'm gonna have to figure out if I can use it. I mean, it's for one person. I'm gonna have to figure figure out if I can use it when I do the duo reviews, if I can just like lie it on the table and point it, it towards us. I think I can, because its gain is like, it picks up pretty well, like sounds and whatnot close to it. So that's awesome. Uh, we'll figure that out on the way. So maybe I'll just have to get another camera and a, like a boom mic. That would be awesome. But yeah, this is, this is really tasty Scotch Ale. Mm. A bit toasted malt, toasted nuts, almost like a roasty, slight coffee edge to it actually, and a good kick of bitterness on the back end. Um, you're getting a lot of the esters as I talked about, maybe not as much on the flavor as the aroma indicated. Flavors are not as estery, it's more of the um, the malt that's shining through on the flavor, like the caramel, the toffee, the kind of sweeter malt flavors. There's a little bit of like a, a, a brown sugar tone to it. It's actually really good, really complex too. Man, the Brewdog, I don't know if you've done it already, but if you haven't, please barrel age dogma. This is awesome. Oops, Oops sorry. Yeah, this is really good. Caramel, and there's toffee. There's like toffee-coated dark fruits, almost like, like some kind of candy, toffee candy with some dark fruit flavor. It's like raisiny. A figgy, but also uh, some of those kind of, there are some of those kind of fruits, the forest fruits, the dark fruits, darker forest berries, but not as much as the aroma indicated, and not, not as much as like marmalade quality, but more so malt, but it's still really fucking good. As I said, this base beer is damn good. This needs to go in a barrel. Scotch whiskey barrel age. That would be awesome. Maybe an Islay version too. <laughs> but really good stuff, guys. If you get a chance, definitely check out the Brewdog Dogma, and if you can't get it, you can get it on Beer Jam, of course. Good stuff, rating wise. I'm gonna go 93. It's just a really nice Scotch ale. Just dead on with some nice flavors. What would bring it up like 96, 97? And on the level of like the Founders uh, Dirty Bastard or Beckwood's Bastard would be some barrel aging because then it would be fucking amazing. So, guys, if you get the chance, check it out. As I said, a 93 for me for the Dogma. Hopefully you enjoyed this review. Hopefully you enjoyed the mic. I will try and figure out the levels when I edit this video so it's not too loud. And uh, yeah, guys, let me know what you think of that bad boy if you've had a chance to try it. And as always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter and Instagram. And I'm going to say cheers. And see you guys in another beer review.